Today we're going to be talking about why lean protein is so good for you, how to eat more of it, how much you really need, and how it applies to weight loss. When we're talking about lean protein, we're talking about all the different proteins, and all we're saying is that the protein does not have a lot of fat on it. For instance, red meat is infamous for having a lot of fat on it. However, you can buy the lean red meat, like 97 or 99% lean red meat or ground beef, for instance. Now you might be wondering about other proteins like yogurt. Is yogurt lean? Well, if it's full fat, you would probably not consider it lean protein. Now, I would not go as far to say that yogurt with fat is bad for you though, so be careful. It depends on your goals, right? So if we're talking about weight loss, maybe not, but it really depends. Don't forget, it always depends on you because you are your own self and you're different than the next guy down the road. Now let's talk about why protein is so good for you. There's five big reasons. Number one, protein increases your metabolism. If you're on a fat loss journey, do I even need to give you any more reasons, right? Increasing your metabolism is gonna increase your fat loss. Number two, Protein helps you feel more full, or what we like to call satiety signal, right? We talked about this in our habit video number one and two when we talked about eating slower and stopping and eating at 80% full. Number three, protein is a grower and a repairer. It will grow your muscle. If you just got a strength training workout in, you wanna grow more muscle so you can burn more fat. The more lean muscle tissue we have, the more fat we will burn. Now, it's also important you don't forget about recovery too, right? So we really want protein to help us recover, and the faster we recover, the more likely we are to get into another hard workout that's gonna burn more calories. Number four, protein also stabilizes your blood sugar. Your blood sugar will go like this throughout the day, but we don't wanna see high peaks and low valleys. So having protein with every meal will really help stabilize. And the last but not least is number five, your body composition. You wanna look your best, you wanna look your leanest, you wanna show off your muscle, you wanna show off your body, this is the way to do it more protein, try to get it in every meal because your body composition, the way you look, is gonna be optimal. Now I wanna make one very important note. If you're not eating enough protein and you're training really hard, you're actually gonna do the opposite of what you wanna be doing because if there's not enough protein circulating around, your body will go after your muscle to get that, right? And you don't wanna do that because you're trying to build muscle and burn fat at the same time. So really make sure before and after your workout, you have some protein. Now I'm sure you're wondering how much protein you should actually be getting, right, every single day. Well, it's about one gram of body weight. Now this may fluctuate, actually it will fluctuate quite a bit, depending on who you are, how much you weigh, how old you are, etc. So if you're a little under one, I wouldn't worry about it, especially if you're a female. And if you're a man, you should be around one, maybe even a little more, depending on how much you're training and what your level of training is, right? So if you've only been working out for a couple of years, this isn't as important. But if you've been working out a longer period of time, you're probably gonna need more protein. This has been known to be argued back and forth. Is it 0.6, is it 0.8, is it one, is it, is it 1.6 or 1.8, right? Closer to two. I've seen studies all different realms, so I've basically decided I'm gonna go in the middle and that's where I'm giving you this one gram per pound of body weight recommendation, okay? So again, it really goes to say, always test and retest. You are a scientist whether you know it or not. So test how much protein you're eating, try to get it in every meal, and that'll maximize your protein synthesis, AKA muscle building zone. Now let's talk about supplements. They're a great tool to use in your daily life as long as you're not overusing them. I would recommend eating as much whole food as possible of protein every single day versus supplementing a whole bunch of times in one day. Now, sometimes you might be really busy and you might need to supplement twice with a shake or a protein bar, right? That's totally okay. But just try not to make it a habit. You're gonna have the most optimal body composition the more real food you eat. Now, there's also this question about plant-based versus animal-based. I have not seen a clear-cut answer to that other than both of them work really well. It's gonna be bioavailable no matter what type of protein you eat for the most part, okay? So pea protein, hemp protein, whey protein, go for it, all right? Some people are not fans of casein protein. It's a slower release, but I've also seen evidence that that's fine. So again, test and retest, try each one out and see what works best for you. Now you've watched this video and you probably even have more questions like what types of protein should I be eating? What is a protein? So at the very bottom of this video, I have a link and it's a download for a grocery list. On this grocery list, you're gonna see a list of many different proteins you can have. This is not the end all be all list, but it's quite a bit of different options for you to go to the grocery store and try different proteins out and know you're eating a protein and not a fat or a carb. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. Please like this video. It really helps me out a lot. Also comment below. I wanna know your questions. I wanna know what you think about this video. You probably have something to say 
today, so let me know. And last but not least, make sure you share this with a friend because sharing is caring, baby. Have a beautiful, fantastic day. Thanks for watching. As always, lift life.